Welcome back, gents. This video, we're going to look at how to construct the ceiling, ceiling battens, wall plates, get that all in position. Create a break at the top of the, the wall on the left and right um, of these external walls, as you see them. And then from there, we're going to look at internal detail. We have a newly inserted door for this newly constructed bathroom that we're, we're, we're sectioning through at this point in time. And we'll go and add some wall hatching as well. So first of all, we need to look at the height it is to the seating level. And if you go look at your um, worksheet, you'll see that it is 27530 uh, from uh, ground floor level. So we're going to do that, 2730 from uh, floor level. So we're going to offset from that point there, 2730, enter. Right, there we go. That takes us to the ceiling height, all right? And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to push that all the way across, right? So we will be um, trimming some of this in the moment, but what I want to do is go and insert the wall plates. Now, the wall plates will sit on the inside edge of the wall, one generally one brick course. In this case, the wall plate, if you go look at your detail, um, you can come and have a look here at uh, ceiling detail. So... Uh, it talks so this shouldn't be a purlin. This is the wrong information. It'll prob probably be adjusted by the time you get the task, but that should be our wall plate. Um, if that is not correct, we can always rely generally on our question. So we go two wall plates at 100 by 38. So that's just the case of wrong labeling here in the annotation. So um, 100 by 38 is what we require for the wall plates. So I'm quickly going to do the following. I'm going to use my rectangular command. So we're going to go a hundred. Comma by 38, sorry, 38, enter. That gives us the wall plate size. For the wall plates, I'm just going to, for now, I'm going to just use uh, walls. In fact, incorrect. What I'm going to do is create another layer. And I don't necessarily need to create another layer. I'm going to choose this as the door detail because I'm, I'm going to use door as wooden detail as well. Okay, so I'm going to click on door as my, my layer here. So we're going to right click on that. I'm going to go door sorry door there we go and before i place it i'm going to add in the convention for wood that is cut and trust any piece of wood that we might need brandering whatever that is ceiling battens right there we go so i'm going to go and move that or copy that co enter i'm going to take it off that so let's try that again co enter uh, highlight the whole object enter, and then I'm going to click on this corner here as a reference point and I'm going to go put it off the inside edge of the wall there right and then I'm going oopsie I'm copying so many pieces here I'm going to move that and I'm going to place that on the inside corner over there as well so the wall plates are in position I'm going to delete the excess wall plates so those are positioned quite nicely what I'll do here and then is just drag that across to meet there um, I'll do the same on the other side. In fact, you could probably actually delete it all the way. You can move it all the way to the wall for now, but that will leave there. Then we need some line annotation. Quickly, I'm just going to um, go back to my wall detail, and I'm just going to construct the line up either side. And for now, there's no length required. I'm just going to draw that up. So now you can see that the wall detail is coming in. To, um, it's working quite nicely there. I'm then going to go and just delete that and delete that because that is going to be what we need. You'll see that's a far in excess, but we'll change that later. So the next thing we need to do is um, create the battens. Do they give us a ceiling dimension? Let's quickly go and have a look at the question. Right, so according to your question, it's an, if you read sectional south elevation instructions, it is a 9 millimeter gypsum ceiling board. So this is the... Um, highest point of the ceiling board so if we were to click on that in fact what i'm going to do before i do that is actually bring that across here um, i'm going to do the same thing here i'm going to bring that across to there and you'll see why now so if i offset that by nine millimeters we want to bring that lower not higher lower that is the width of my ceiling board now what we're going to do is we're going to position the or we're going to create and position the brand ring if we look at the question the brand ring is indicated here at 38 by 38 the question says please will you center them or um have them equally spaced apart. So do 238 by 38 spaced appropriately. So that could really, that's up to your own proportion or own good proportion. But what I'm going to do is go and create those first. So 38 by 38. So that is 38 high. So I'm just going to go and go 38, comma 38 gives us the brand ring. I'm going to again use the wooden, I'm going to use doors as my layer. All right, we can probably go door slash wooden. I'm going to then um, 
there we go and highlight it i'm going to remain hope there we go it keeps us in that on that layer and there it is we need two of these so i'm just going to go copy enter um, and then just drag that across now, i want to show you a nice uh, command in order to divide a line so i'm going to type in divide enter i'm going to divide this top line in we're going to divide it into two segments enter but you can't see where we've divided so what i want to go do here is go to my utilities and go to point style Point style, I want my divisions to be, I'll use this, it, it, it depends on what you want to use, for example, but I'll just use, uh, for the argument's sake, I'll just go ahead and use that. Uh, the point size, we want to change to 100. Let's see, does it give us a point size? It does. It's rather large, but let's go and delete that. Right. In fact, what I want to do here is not divide it by 2, I want to divide it by 3. So let's do that again. Divide, and I want to divide by divide the line that one and actually into three parts and you'll see one now okay so those are too big again you can go back to your utilities point style and you can adjust that for example to 30 okay a bit more a bit more realistic what i'm then going to do is i'm going to move these okay i could have just copied kept one and copied i'm going to move it to there and i'll move this one highlight m reference point in the center as you can see and slots it in there and so what's happened now is as divide sign has divide sum has given us um two appropriately spaced uh, ceiling battens for the ceiling right then to continue here i'm going to then go and uh, just do a line across the top here and what that indicates essentially is the rafter the base of the rafter from that point to that point so we've got the rafter which we haven't, which you don't construct, uh, great. We don't. We never really go beyond that line in grade eleven or B block. Um, so that brandering there and there is holding the ceiling board right to the base of that rafter. Okay, everything there is in, in place and position. And what I'm going to do is just pick a random height here. I'm actually just going to move from there. Me, that's happy again. So there's no specific height there. I'm going to run straight across. Quickly do some trimming up here. I'm going to go trim that there and there. Right, is there as well i'm going to introduce you to what we call a civil break so we can go and click, delete those two as well a, a break in the drawing right so how we do that is we're going to use a specific command right called the break command so we're going to go to express tools uh, express tools and you'll see you get a break symbol here and what we want to do is just go add a break from this, uh, across this these two points here Right, so what I want to first do is just go in and check the size and uh, work with the size and extension. So the size of the break, I'm going to make 30, right? And then the extension, I'm also going to make 30, so at 50. So let's leave it at 50 for the moment and see for the time being what happens there. So I'm going to click there, there, and then I'm going to go click the center. And I'm happy with that break. The extension's quite big, but that's okay. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to go do the same on this side here. Click there and there, and it'll remember my previous settings. So at this point in time now, I've got the break on the walls. Let me go delete that bit of information. I've got the section window in. Everything, the ceiling and battens are in there. Let's go and quickly hatch the walls while we're at this point. So the hatching we know, the hatching we're going to deal with here is that ANSR 32, which is our common brick. Now, Again, we've got a slight problem with, there we go. So we want to continue with that, right? And hatch, there it is. And let's go, sorry, that's earth, wrong hatching. That's fantastic, let's do that again. Right, drop down, ANSR 32 at the top here, great. Okay, there it is. And there it is, problem here is we've got angle cor incorrect. So let's go zero, enter. There we go. So the, the angle is in. Right. And what I want to do then is go back here, click, and then I want to add it, add the correct layer to this. So we want to make sure it's on hatch there. Cool. Now the rest of the hatching, let's go and highlight all the hatching we have here. Right. And we want to ensure that this hatching is all set to our hatch layer. And what really this means, again, I think I've, I've mentioned in a previous video, if we want to remove all the hatching, we can. And we can uh, bring it up again. All right, we can remove window detail and all the rest of it. So now what we need to do is go and add in the internal door detail. And uh, we'll do that very quickly in the next video.